I'm just doing a couple of things, guys. But we're going to have Poyo versus Best Nest here. So that's pretty exciting. And we are getting started on PS2. Ace, why don't you start us off a little bit? All right. Where are we? Okay. So this is uh, certainly matchup. I'm not quite sure who would have the strict advantage here, if it's Ness or Bowser. Bowser, you'd think, would be able to tough guy through something like PK Fire, but it would definitely leave him open, and Best Ness is absolutely a champion of tricking people into thinking that PK Fire is what he's going to do, and then punishing you with, oh my lord. <laughs> That a B was absolutely And then punishing nutty. you with oh my lord. What a beautiful moment of life that was. <laughs> I mean sometimes that's all you got. What the oh, hell just happened there? He tried to recover and fell too fast and died for it. I, I guess so that's I the only thing I can like think that. of. Wait, ooh, Bowser's tech get up is a jump, so it went underneath his get up. Oh man, and here's another here's another thirty percent coming out from Bowser because Flame Breath is nuts. You know what the yep. funny thing is? Uh, Poya went for that forward smash there. That probably would have killed. Oh, almost definitely against Ness near the edge, even on PS2. Yeah. All right. Uh, excellent DI from Best Ness there, not dying to uh, side B. I mean, that wouldn't have killed considering the direction it sent. If it had sent to the right, it certainly would have been more threatening. Now that I'm actually paying attention, I can actually commentate what's going on. Bowser bomb going there. Best Ness is at 128% right now. Most of Bowser's moves will kill at this point, especially from ledge. Keyword most. Yeah. <laughs> most. Uh, if he lands that five frame F tilt, it'll definitely do something at least. Oh, but or if he gets back thrown. Then he dies, and then and then yeah. Poyo is on his last stock, and Best Ness at 143. That might kill, that will kill, because Jesus, that's strong. Oof. Definitely, uh... <laughs> okay, he just went for it. And that I did mean, 36! Well, more like 29, but, you know... Oh, did he actually have percent wild. before? I believe he had, like, 6% on him. Oh, but I <gasps> he parried it. He didn't this get he didn't get anything like super cool off of it immediately, but he parried the Bowser down B, and I do not have the audacity to even think about doing that in my life. Bestness, bestness, bestness. This man, has this man is insane. Bestness up again. He just, he just went for it. He was just like, oh, you're over there? Nope, you're below my foot. Death. What because a... They're just what a match. What, what a absolute, mood. What a domination there from <laughs> Bessness. Absolutely just putting Poyo in disadvantage so much. And then just keeping him there and racking up the percent. Racking up percent in ways that Bowser couldn't just tough guy his way through. And just... Then just then just killing him for it, and sometimes going for options that you had absolutely no idea that the mess would go for, and it working, and he just absolutely held that match. He held the pacing of that match all the time. He had the yeah. advantage most time, kept keeping Bowser in the corner a lot. The the he SD was, the SD that he had, or at least what looked like an SD to me, certainly didn't help. But Bestness just kept pace the entire time. It was. Like, like, it's so interesting watching Best Ness play because there are so very few players. Oh, he switched the game and watch. Cool. There are so many times where I'm watching Best Ness play and I'm just like, how does this man control every single set he plays? Just so dominantly. It's because he doesn't play like your average Ness. He doesn't just go, okay, I'm a PK Fire fan here, here, and here. He likes to use his movement coming in from his PSI magnet. He uses uh, dash back moves. He uses his fares. He likes to definitely try to keep his movement and his com his uh, committing to a minimum, so that way he can definitely not just be a standard Ness and really keep flow of the game in his own. Absolutely, and I think the switch to I think the switch from Bowser to Game and Watch is probably really good because Game and Watch will die a lot sooner. But I don't think dying early was the problem that he had. I think the problem that he had was not being able to deal with Ness too well. And I think Game and Watch does a much better job than Bowser uh, against Ness. 
absolutely. Being of a smaller body, he doesn't get comboed as easily because, oh, hello, chair being active for 20 years. Listen, if you had a chair that had that good of a hitbox, you'd use it in real life, too. Oh, <laughs> that was not uh, the expected uh, uh, sequence of events, but it works. And, and then he dies to snare because, you know, it just works that way sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. And I think what we're getting a lot more out of here is a lot more of Poyo just kind of playing a bit more calmly, I think. What? What? <laughs> coded in, what? What? I'm that's, I didn't I've never seen it. it okay, chat, have you ever seen that before? Have you ever seen like someone look metal for a little bit? And also why did that send him nowhere? Like I get that he was at low oh, percents, but it sent him nowhere. Oh, it's because the knockback of uh, oil panic is based upon the type of move he absorbs and getting the single low percent flames from PK fire means that he didn't generate much uh, percent dealt by the oil panic and thus doesn't send you anywhere and doesn't deal any percent. Kind of like what happens if you gather moves like Shokinetsu versus the using like a stronger projectile like if he captured uh, PK thunder instead. Oh, what a catch! Yo, that was the absolute Ace, Ace, I'm loving your explanations as to how this works, but at the same time, I'm watching Poyo just kind of play this this match so much better than he played the last one. It's it's oh, insane, absolutely. the difference. Absolutely. He's actually trying to play neutral around his opponent. I mean, he was certainly he trying the previous game, just wasn't succeeding, oh, yes. you know? Yeah, no, Game & Watch definitely has an easier time in neutral, particularly against Ness, because he doesn't just get hit by everything Ness does. Okay. That was a set of interactions. Yeah, that definitely Ooh, was. He expected him to go for Dare, and he never did, which was an excellent uh, mix-up there from Poyo. Uh, you would definitely have expected Game Watch to have gone for more, more down airs there, but instead he just floated the entire way through. Oh, but the oh. back air killed the game. <laughs> that trade was that trade could have been so good for Poyo, but it wasn't. And Bestness taking that game too. So even with the character switch, we're still seeing Bestness uh, take that game. Do you think he's going to switch back to Bowser? Do you think uh, Do you think Game & Watch is his best bet here? I think Game & Watch is definitely the better bet. He had a much much better game plan going on in that game. Perhaps uh, Battlefield may not be the best bet because there's a lot of good place for Nesta to use his movement to his advantage compared to Game & Watch. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and also, thank you, Helvet, for explaining. Um, apparently, Game & Watch does oil you for a bit. It's just the first time I've ever seen it. I don't see, I don't see, I don't, I, despite the number of people that I know that play NES, I very rarely actually see NES games, because they're never on stream when they're in tournament. I mean, as somebody who fights a lot of NESs, uh, you, you sort of pick up on a lot of things, even if you haven't played them yourself. Yeah, I will be right back, uh, if they start, commentate without me, but I'll be right back in like 30 seconds. Alright, that sounds like a plan. We got this, boys. And girls, and everyone else. Who doesn't who does not decide to uh determine themselves on the binary but that is neither here nor there uh while we wait to see what stage and what characters we get in this game three here to see if bestness gets it through. oh we go back to bowser very interesting i wouldn't think that this would be the play yet, but it might depend on the stage choice here uh we'll see what kind of dimensions we get here because i think the blast zones are definitely a key thing to pay attention to in a matchup like this uh okay Small side blast zones for town and city, definitely helpful for Bowser. Uh, and the high top blast zones definitely could be helpful, but having the very large bottom blast zone helps with being able to have recovery space against the Ness, so that he doesn't able to get too many super easy edge guards against you. Ooh, he almost got the recovery get up with the uh, PK Thunder, the PK Rocket again, but definitely able to. Uh, avoid that this time around. Yeah, I'm back. Sweetness. We see Ness just racking up super percent on Bowser here. Kind of expected because... Oh, he managed to avoid the uh, the yo-yo, which is kind of... Which oh, is kind of... Oh, oh, he barely lived. All right, he's going to make it back. Like, he's definitely going to make it back. Like, he's oh, definitely going to make it back. If I believe hard enough, he'll get his stock back, right? <laughs> yeah, that's totally how that goes. Totally, totally just, other words. Did Dash Attack beat. beat the splash hitbox of Bowser Bomb? Or not Bowser Bomb, uh, his down B. Thwomp. I'm going to call it Thwomp, because I don't know what it actually is. 
I'll tell you, a PK Thunder beat out down air, which is kind of dumb. What? Why? <laughs> Best Ness, why? This man He's dead. Oh just, my just... lord. He's just dead. Okay, He's okay. I'm gonna dead. do something real quick. Ace, you keep commentating. I have to see who sent Best Ness into losers. Because whoever did that has to be like... Oh, it was A2. That's who sent him into losers. Okay. Oh, How? That was nutty. That was nutty. Like, 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 I get this matchup probably isn't all that great for Bowser, but at the same time, just watching how Best Ness is playing, he is just so on point with his movement and the way that he does things. Absolutely. His setups are... Will he live? No, no. just barely. If he had gotten that, like, five degrees to the right, he would have magnet hands it. Absolutely, because we all know that Ness has some dummy magnet hands. Oh, he does not predict the right side. Hey, he finally gets a down B. And the up smash yeah, hits shield. Hold... Oh, he got the weak hit of F smash. Which is super unfortunate, because he kind of needed... How did that not hit him? Oh my gosh, I'm just watching and I'm just like, please, Poyo. I like so believe in Poyo right now. And it's also not, it's not even like Poyo is playing poorly. It's just that Best Ness seems to be on another level, you know? Best Ness being in complete control of the game flow right now. Oh, yeah, he's it's just... Red... He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. That, that was there. crazy. What a swift set from Best Ness. Absolutely dominant play from Bestness there, no matter what character chosen by Poyo. Uh